That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zulf. Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived, and what exactly Zolf told him. A hammer and an army carbine. When I was a fighting man, I used the very same. That's the way to make every shot count. Even the army never issued carbines in such fine shape. It wasn't fixed, it was unbroken. The city, its riches nothing but fragments now. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Ain't saying much. But that's the greatest forge in all the city. The shards are getting harder to find. No risk a Colford cauldron ever erupting again, they used to say. Guess they were wrong. Not everything blew up in the calamity. Why Colford cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. Best to keep out of the cauldron. So, in a way, the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors, too. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Playing with the cauldron's fires 
became an addiction. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. The unforgiven scent of sulfurous dirt. The taste of air is so hot it sticks to your lungs. Sorts of awful things crawling underfoot. You can cook those things, but you can't eat them. Kept on sifting through the cauldron's secrets anyway. The more ash we swept the side, the more life we found. Places inhospitable as they come. Rest on. After all, when we look down inside Colford Cauldron, down through all the smoke and flames. We saw in there the heart of the world, the heart now laid bare by the calamity. We had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bog. Kid's thinking he's got to trek all the way back around the cauldron. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path.
biggest stink eye he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Pops open on him like a pimple on a school day. And where there's one stink eye, there's always more. Cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Kid don't shed any tears for him though. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. He comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. The triggers. My brothers, bravest men I ever knew, the slingers, the wilds with a calling. Sometimes I want to ask him, why do any of this? But truth is, I don't want to know. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. Put some finishing touches on the business end of that thing. At least it won't get cold around here with that thing around. On the inside, a fire bellows ain't nothing like its more popular air-spitting cousin. Without an insulated air intake, that thing's liable to blow up on you. No longer a weapon, it's a precision instrument. The culture, a still life of old unwanted keepsakes. The inspiration, a forge can fashion anything. We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight.
They said the wild could never be tamed. If only they could see us now. We spotted a pecker carrying a shard to Mount Zan. Not much left to Mount Zan nowadays. It's like a cross between a zoo and a prison break. Can't rightly call Mount Zan the mountain anymore. There's no more mountains now. There's no place left for the beasts of the wild to go. So they figure they'll hold out right here, on a slab of mountain the Calamity forgot. Those beasts been hoarding all the valuables they could find. We only found their little lair because they found themselves a little shard. Good thing for those beasts the Calamity saved leftovers. The creatures of the wild, they've been building a bastion of their own. But they ain't yet prepared for any company. They even dragged their children into this. Best thing we can do for those beasts right now is put them down quick and clean. Without a doubt, the situation stinks. Mercy left these days. What the city left behind, those beasts took for themselves. Takes a lot of convincing, and our mortars have to do the talking. Look at it this way it's either them or us. But if we win, they win too. Our bastion is everybody's game, not just ours. Unfortunately, there's no explaining that to a simple beast. Those beasts been hard at work fixing up the place. They've rounded up their survivors, just like we have. Yeah. 
It's a delicate situation. They've been searching for cores and shards, just like we have. Maybe they've thought about turning back, just like we have. We just really need their shard. Kid got it fair and square. Beasts of Mount Zan go all out. That's the way. He's done what's best for him, don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll all be better off once the bastion is complete. Rattletails ain't the worst of it either, but more about it.